what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got another casting update today not only a casting update but another rumor regarding another returning character and it apparently looks like screen 5 will start shooting earlier than expected now as you see on screen here yes per variety reports today uh jack quaid has been cast in the upcoming scream sequel uh, they calling it a reboot. I, they keep calling it a reboot. I guess you can call it a soft reboot, but it's still taking place after Scream 4. That's not actually confirmed. That's what we're all hoping for, and that's what more, most likely we're leaning towards, given everything that we found out about the project so far. But for any fans of Jack Quaid and for many fans of Amazon Originals, possibly a fan of even the um, hit series The Boys, who have a second season releasing this Friday, you know that Jack is from the boys that hit amazon series about uh, these vigilantes that are going after these corrupt superheroes in the i believe it's set in new york but he got a role we don't know what character he'll be betraying but now he joins courtney cox david arquette uh melissa barrera and then jenna ortega and then another person that we are still speculating and believe to be involved, of course, we have Jocelyn Hudon, who is currently still being followed on Instagram, as far as I know, by the directors, specifically Tyler Gillett. She follows him on Instagram. Maybe they just follow each other just because she auditioned for the movie and there was a mutual respect there. Uh, but jumping right on into things regarding this casting. Now, Jack Quaid, again, I've only seen Jack Quaid in two different things, and that would be The Boys and then uh some other he was in like a smaller horror movie recently he was in a smaller horror movie from i think either last year or a couple of years back he's been in a horror movie and he's a very great actor um he looks like he will be filling the build of ryan because remember sarah is supposed to be our, our returning character returning to her hometown she's 24 years old works at costco and jack quaid looks like he would fit that profile to play, play her boyfriend ryan who also works at costco with her and honestly i am excited about this edition this is going to bring a lot of attention to the boys too amazon just sent me a screener for the second season i'm going to watch as much as i can tonight uh regarding this show it doesn't come out till friday but amazon sent me a screener to watch it in advance he is just a very good actor and nothing i've seen him in has he necessarily been bad uh he gives off these vape these great great facial expressions uh He's just overall like one of the better actors I've seen recently in film or television. And to have him on board with this is going to bring a lot of attention to The Boys 2, uh, which is already getting a lot of praise for its second season. And it's just going to be another great addition for the cast of the ongoing, growing Scream 5. Uh, in the coming weeks, yes. So jumping right on into the next thing, it looks like instead of October 15th, as we've talked about on this channel multiple times, Screen 5, according to a Hollywood company who is in charge of like dishing out props, I guess, for certain films, they're suggesting that Screen 5 will start on October 1st. It Screen 5 looks like it'll apparently start shooting on the first day of October in Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, this company is also doing something. This company is also doing something that I'm going to get into the next thing I want to talk about regarding a returning character. Uh, but the production date moving up to October 1st and not October 15th tells me that they are probably, if this is true, again, because this could very well not be true, and they probably just got the date wrong, might even have been a typo, and they meant to type October 15th. Uh, but it's apparently set to start October 1st in Wilmington, and hopefully they can get this done in, let's just say, before Christmas. I can see this movie shooting for at least two months maybe even just a month and a half but no longer past christmas they will be done shooting this around christmas time at the latest and then they can work on editing it and doing any reshoots that may need to be done throughout all of next year since the project itself is not due to release as we found out a couple of days ago until january 14th of 2022 so production will start sooner than expected and now jumping on into the next thing that i want to talk about and that is a rumored returning character who is also going to be suggesting that this could be another casting that we could expect in the near future and that is judy hicks now as you all know i have a very elaborate theory of mine that i have on my channel talking about judy hicks that ties in her connection to sydney prescott and what would be her motive for wanting to go after her if i had a screen five done in my vision because uh, again in my vision i would make judy hicks the killer in screen five 
given what happened in screen four is actually what happened because traditionally my screen five would be us picking up with jill somehow somehow we'd pick up with jill but if jill's actually dead then in this mo movie this new screen five of mine uh i made an elaborate theory concerning how judy had a connection with sydney i looped in that one major not even major that one minor scene from screen four where she's talking about this peter P peter pan play i gave i gave them a whole entire backstory and looped them in with Stu mocker billy loomis it's and a lot of you loved it a lot of you loved it some of you didn't like it too much but most of you love love that judy hicks theory of mine uh that company that's reporting or suggesting that production will start on october 1st now this company that is suggesting that they're working on props for screen five they're apparently working on the cop badges for the woodsboro police force and they made it they made a post on instagram talking about and on twitter talking about the fact that they're currently working on dewey's uh, police badge being constructed for production which is set to start in the first on the first day of October uh, someone asked the question of whether or not Judy Hicks would also be getting her own badge or just making the name mentioning Judy Hicks and they responded with a clear indication that basically confirms indirectly that she would be back now they have since rephrased that and said that that's not what they meant they just meant that a deputy would be getting a badge but that's not what you said initially and then on top of that marley shelton is already being followed by tyler gillette on instagram so you trying to rephrase it and backtrack now it's like the, the cat's out of the bag and i'm not saying this means that she'll be in screen five but just you backtracking and then when we have other things that are supporting her potential involvement it's like don't backtrack on it just don't say anything or remove that comment just remove the comment someone flat out asked you if judy hicks would be getting a badge as well and you did you did nothing to deny that you just gave them 100 percent confirmation so now in your response you didn't mention judy but like come on now the person asked you about judy and you you gave a response that was in gave a response to a question that had judy's name in it and you didn't differentiate between yes or no if this was in regards to judy or not then you come to try to backtrack uh so it's just like just delete your comment because she's already being followed by tyler gillette and I wouldn't be disappointed with Judy Hicks being back, but honestly, it doesn't look like she would be, of course, portraying Ghostface in any matter. But and that doesn't mean she won't be the killer, but I'm just expecting her not to be the killer. Um, I think they're going to do a variety of different things with this franchise. I think, of course, one of the supporting cast members that are of the new cast will be the killer or one of the killers, because there's probably going to be two. I'm hoping we get three for the first time. But yep it looks like marley shelton will be reprising her role as judy hicks i know a lot of people are fans of that character despite her trying to get in dewey's pants i know that doesn't sit well with a lot of people who love the gail and dewey relationship i don't really care about that stuff uh, i didn't really find the character all that interesting outside of that tiger lily scene in the hallway i thought she was definitely going to be involved in the killings in screen four i 100 percent thought she was going to be involved and then I wasn't necessarily shocked when it was Jill, but I'm more so kind of disappointed that I didn't catch on to that as the movie was going on. Because if you go back and you look at Screen 4, it's so blatantly obvious. It's not blatantly obvious the first time around, so they did a very good job. But you watch certain things and you notice certain cues with Jill and Ghostface. And it's like, how did I not see this before? But looks like Marley Shelton will be back. Uh, if she is back, I don't mind the character of Judy Hicks being back. I would love to see somebody again returning because I hate again when they do a new film and they just have a completely wiped new supporting cast because no one from the last movie survived. So it's nice to see at least somebody from the old sequels coming back if this is true because we all know that Detective Kincaid was supposed to be a returning cop from Screen 3 and Screen 4, but patrick dempsey i believe was obligated to transformers dark of the moon at the time so that fell through the cracks so to have judy hicks marley shelton back if it's true uh that's a nice touch to the franchise now would she perhaps be ghostface um i'll take it come up with a good story and i'll take it because again my judy hicks theory is probably my best my not only my best in my opinion but my favorite um somehow looping her in and making her the killer and tying her back to sydney prescott possibly tying her into this new narrative but i don't see it happening i think this new narrative is going to be not even remotely about sydney since we know sydney won't even be the main star it's going to be about some girl named sarah and her family but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video